What do we mean when we talk about records? Records are documents created or accumulated in the course of our day-to-day -day activities. The records we generate in our daily life and business can take any form, including paper documents, like a birth certificate or a shopping list. Other types of records include photographs, sound and film recordings, and digital files, from quick emails to computer-aided designs. Records are created by individuals and organisations, both public and private. And records are active, meaning they're in current use and are needed to carry on activities, from train tickets and payslips to rent agreements and music playlists. Thinking more specifically about records relating to theatre and live art, the records of a performance company might include business records, like annual reports, minutes of meetings, financial papers, grant applications, contracts and correspondence. But also production records, like scripts, lighting plots, cue sheets, designs, video recordings of productions, and publicity material, like posters and flyers. An example from our collections is this prompt book, annotated, Call Miss Dench, from an old Rick production of Hamlet of 1957, referring to Dame Judi Dench's appearance as Ophelia. An individual's records, such as a designer, might include research notes and photographs, technical drawings and designs, and correspondence, in addition to personal administrative records, such as financial papers and contracts. So what happens when you no longer need these records day to day? When no longer in active use, records can be selected for long-term preservation due to their enduring value as a source of information or as evidence of activities. For example, the old Vic prompt book might be preserved for its informational value. But this particular annotated copy provides evidence of Dame Judy's professional debut. For administrative records no longer needed for legal compliance, it might be decided that only high-level financial papers such as annual statements are selected for long-term preservation, rather than every receipt, purchase order and invoice. So an archive is a collection of records created by an individual or organisation and selected for long-term preservation for future generations. These are just some of the many items that we hold at the Theatre Collection, and it's these records that, when preserved, give us a window to the past.